We carry on with our next speaker at the case study. Anti-terroristic protection of punchable oil refinery. Alarm automatica. Miroslav Ciric. Ajde, Mirek, da čujemo mi kako ste ih zaštitili. Hi, Frana. Ništa. Možeš odmah govoriti, nema na što sjediti. Zvori. Ok. Time is precious. Vrijeme je novac. I will try to stick in English. I know it will be much easier to skip to creation, but the rules was... Yes, of course. Same, yeah. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, Go. Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't speak too much about Alarm Automatica, about our company, because I would need another 15 minutes. But uh, I will say just shortly that uh, uh, the company Alarm, Autom Alarm Automatica has a headquarter in uh, Croatia, in Rijeka, and we are present in additional nine countries. So all together at the moment we are present in the ten countries. And the project uh, the case that I will share with you today uh, is done in Serbia, in uh, oil refinery in Pančevo. And this is the project that uh, was done by Alarm Automatica Belgrade and Alarm Automatica Croatia together. So, let's start. Uh, this case study is uh, focused on anti terrorist protection, uh, the project that we did in uh, oil refinery in Pančevo. And uh, when you think about anti-terrorist protection, of course you think about access control, you think about surveillance, but for sure you have to think about some active measures that uh, you have to use for prevention, for real active prevention. So it is not enough just to detect something, you have to prevent. And this active prevention uh, is something that uh, we've been thinking together with uh, our investor. It is the company NIS, Naftna Industria Serbia, which is the owner of the refinery. And uh, I, I suppose that you are all familiar with this company. It is one of the largest energy companies in the Southeast Europe. Uh, NIS is gaining every year a large portion of the GDP of Serbia and a uh, great part of economy and also every household domestic is somehow related or dependent of NIS. So you can just imagine how would it look like if there is just one day without oil, without gas or without petrol. And if you think about it, uh, I, I'm sure that you will agree with me that this is a real uh, critical infrastructure. And uh, cri critical infrastructure really needs some real active measures. So, when we take a look at the site of the refinery, it is about two square kilometers. So it is quite big, quite large. And first, what you think about is perimeter protection, of course. But the perimeter of this site is about six kilometers long. And, of course, there is a huge perimeter protection. But when you think about terrorism, what is the most important point that you have to protect? So, the most important thing, uh, points that you have to protect are entering and exiting gates. So this is the point where there are migrations of vehicles, of people, and you have to be 100% in control of these points. And when you think about terrorist attacks, we are all aware about uh, new methods that terrorists are using now. So they are still wearing guns, they are still wearing uh, dynamite, bombs, but they are more and more using their vehicles as a weapon. And this is a new thing that we had to think about, that the terrorist can attack this kind of site with the weapon, with the weapon which is vehicle. And uh, when the vehicle is approaching the gate, you don't know what will happen. You don't know if the vehicle will really stop or somebody will try to go through to enter the perimeter and uh, make some kind of damage. And uh, 
just imagine if this kind of vehicle enters this kind of site, what could be the consequences? Not only for the refinery, but for a large area. Okay? So this is the point that we are focused in this project, entering gates. So before we decided which solution we will use, we had to face some challenges. And that was that uh, the refinery already had some uh, internal uh, procedures uh, about check-in and check-out process. And we had to stick to these procedures. So that means whatever kind of solution we add on, it should be within uh, the same time limits. Uh, there are not allowed any bottlenecks, no queuing. And uh, when you think about it, through these points, every day you have more than a few hundred vehicles entering and exiting. That means you need to create some solution that is very durable. It has to last. And it has to be reliable. That means these gates are operating 24-7. So no downtime is allowed at all. Also, when you think about the installation, what, whatever equipment, whatever you want to put this gate point, you have to think what is already there. So uh, there is possible collision with existing infrastructure. And uh, we had to examine every part, every point before doing any, uh, any uh, before making any decision what kind of solution we will use. So it was quite demanding, but of course, the most important uh, challenge was a security challenge. Because we had to ask ourselves how to stop a full speed track in case of terrorist attack. Just imagine these gates are approached from the main road, and each truck, uh, each vehicle can achieve maybe some 50 kilometers per hour in the moment when the, the gate is uh, approached. And uh, you have to stop this vehicle in case it wouldn't stop. So what could be the solution? And after really brainstorming, uh, we decided to go with this. This is a wedge barrier. It's a solution that can really stop a truck, seven and a half tons at full speed at 80 kilometers per hour. So this is a solution that is certified according to British standards, PAS 68, according to American standards, uh, according to international standards, IWA. And this solution is really crash tested. Why is it important? It is important because these are the real conditions. Lots of the products you can find on the market for the same application, let's say, are not crash tested. They are just digitally simulated and calculated, but only with a real crash test you can achieve these results. And this solution is done by our partner, Perimeter Protection Germany. And uh, we did this solution together with them. So this is a real high-end solution. It's a high-speed wedge barrier. It's quite easy to install, of course, if you know what, uh, what you are doing. And uh, this is security for high-sensitive entry points. This barrier, which is more than two tons heavy, this blocking element is rising and opens in less than three seconds. It can uh, last more than 100,000 cycles before the maintenance. And the parts are just a few inside. So whatever happens, 
it can be replaced very fast. Regarding the installation, this uh, barrier has a shallow mount uh, installation. That means only 300 millimeters is enough to install this barrier. So, if you first you have to dig a hole and make a, a foundation, and altogether it is less than half a meter. In that case, we really didn't interfere with anything that could be under the under the road. And finally, when we put these uh, barriers to the real position where it is best for, for uh, the security reasons, uh, we started to create all surrounding. That means we added uh, boom barriers, we added traffic lights, also uh, inductive loop detectors, which are used for detecting the presence of the vehicles. And after that, we painted everything in yellow and uh, black. We put these con concrete New Jersey bumpers. That means we made a full traffic regulation for this uh, entrance and exits, but without compromising existing procedures. That means the same speed, the same accuracy, and completely error-free. What does it mean? When we finished with the civil works, we had to put all electromechanical system, hydraulic system, and pill seek controller. That means that we made a special scenario. And this scenario was quite demanding because you really had to think about any possible mistake that could be here. And the system should be error, really, really error proof. And finally, at the end, we put the LPR cameras, which added us uh, some additional features that uh, are interesting for, for the next thing that we did. Uh, you can see that each this anti-terrorist uh, gate system uh, can be multiplied uh, how, uh, no matter how many, how many gate points you have. All these points are connected to our integration software, so we are controlling each gate from, the, from this software. It can work completely independently, but you have all the information through this software. Additional thing is the module for the, for the LPR. So that means we are recording all the, all the uh, license plates, and we can create rules. We can uh, connect the driver with the vehicle. We can track everything, and the all information can be uh, sent to each gate to the security operator. And on the other side, this uh, uh, integration software allowed us to connect to the complete integral perimeter protection of the full of the whole refinery. And this was really one big demanding task. So at the end, how it looks like in the practice. So when the vehicle comes, it is detected. That means this barrier cannot be opened, the gate cannot be opened until the truck is here. After the checking procedure, the boom barrier opens, the barrier is already down, and the truck can go out. At the same time, it is its license plate is recording, stored in the, in the database, and connected driver and the vehicle, and send information. So it looks really simple, what was one of, uh, one of the tasks. And uh, at the same time, security is 100% uncompromised. So I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you. Yes, we did, Miro, because it was one minute shorter. That's good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Fernando. Good luck.